Just so I can tell you what's on my mind. What's up, Bobby? Yo, what's wrong, guys? Signal here today. Is a video I'm gonna be you. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong guys, Signal here, and today is a video I'm gonna be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Uh, before we get... <clears throat> Yo, what's wrong guys, Signal here, and today is a video I'm gonna be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Uh, before we get into the video with their sector, mind you guys, that only about 50% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. Uh, so if you decide to do that, it would help me a lot, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we're going to start off with just our rendered out twister. Now this twister is very, very easy to, to create. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just go into your plane clip, go to where the character pulls out a shotgun, just go ahead and make it 100% there, go forward to the impact, set the twister to 20%, uh, go 30 frames forward, uh, make a keyframe, go 6 frames forward, forward from there, uh, make a keyframe, set it to 300, go 3 frames forward and set it to 50. Then just go ahead and render that out and uh just go ahead and delete the audio afterwards and you should have this just like that so once you've got that uh that's where we're gonna start off with this tutorial so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh split the clip on the kill right here i'm gonna go ahead and add the impact first so just click on the fx button right here then for, before you do anything just go ahead and download the presets that are in the description of course uh, and just go ahead and download this Aki Impact Normal and just go ahead and apply it to the thing and you should be good to go there. Uh, now just go 59 frames back, so almost a full second. So 60 and then 34, just go ahead and split it right there. Click on the FX button once again and go ahead and head over to the 59 frame buildup. Click on add and uh, you'll get this. Uh, I'm going to sort of explain uh, how this works for you guys. So essentially, I'm going to start off with the blow more curves. So we have this very, very slight zoom in right here. Very slight. This is slightly too slow as well. So it's not really that noticeable. Then we get here, which is a fast keyframe, and that goes to 0 0.75. This is slightly more noticeable, and it just goes into the side uh, because the center is set a bit to the side of the character. And then it, this keyframe set to slow just sort of pulls it back. Uh, along with the pinch now the pinch down here it's set to slow and it goes from 0 to 1000 right here and when it's set to slow it just doesn't really start working until this keyframe is activated sort of so it, it makes for a very very smooth uh impact essentially now uh the uh <laughs> the impact right here we have some bcc motion blur now this is going to add some of these sort of swirls that you can see i think they're pretty cool you can always delete them if you don't like them uh the shake right here is just the tilt that you can see it's just sort of like that and this is the y shake uh as you can see so once you got all of that you can just go ahead and download the uh or just go ahead and open the uh the sound effects rather so they're going to be in the description as well obviously and the first one is going to be this sort of bass swoosh just go ahead and overlay it sort of like that uh, the next one is going to be, I'm just looking at my second monitor here, uh, the gold pump headshot, just go ahead and import that and overlay it just like that, uh, and make sure that the, uh, the volumes are all adjusted. Uh, the last uh, sound effect I'm going to be adding is the sniper SFX, I'm going to get the bottom, so I'm going to right click on that, click on reverse, go and drag that in, and then go ahead and set the impact to this little spike right there, go ahead and drag the effect back so that it lines up with this split. And just go ahead and fade it in fully and once we have that i'm just gonna go ahead and pre-render and we'll see how it looks all right this was a bit loud but it is what it is all right and just like that we have the effect if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like down below comment subscribe all that good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace